Praise be to Allah, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Pan Nev Let's Play. So, everyone, I officially decided that I'm just gonna, from now on, just call it Pan Nev. Because you know what? I'm not even gonna try, because I think Pan Jeb is me being American ignorant, and yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna stop that. So, the wizard's gonna cut off, okay? So, the next thing we should talk about is what we've been doing this kind of thing. Well, just basically for the last, like, couple hours, I should say, I've been trying to think about ways to fight the Persians, because, as you can see, that is my next goal. And I bet you guys are thinking, wait a minute, James, you tried that earlier, it did not work, you got your butt kicked, and you had to restart, which is probably going to throw a lot of people off. I'm not doubting, I'm probably going to lose a couple people in the let's in this Let's Play, because I restarted my game, but, hey, I knew I wasn't going to win against the Russians. I, <laughs> I know my limits, I know my limits in terms of, uh, like, conquest, I mean... Look at this, 148 versus my petty 40. Plus they had all of the Persian army and all this. I mean, we defeated the Persian army, but still, Russia was just going to annihilate us, so. It was just not worth it, okay? So, I, I, but I'm not here to justify why I did that, because I think it was personally right, and so, because it, it was the dignity of the Let's Play. I said this was a very hard Let's Play, when I said in the beginning, this is a very hard Let's Play. And this is going not to be easy for me to do everything I'm going to need to do to, like, unite all of India. So, what I've done is I've sat here for a couple minutes and thought, you know, how am I going to do this? How am I going to expand anywhere? Because right now, the Russians basically have the Persians in their sphere, and I can't really do anything. So, you know, I click on the sphere button, and, you know, I'm like, ugh, why do the Russians have to have the Persians in their sphere? Why do they have to be allied? And I am recording right now, okay? Um... Yeah, so I was just like thinking, well, how do I do this? How am I going to make this, this let's play interesting? Well, what I realized is that not not just that the Russians are in the Persian, not just that the Persians are in the Russian sphere, but I am in the British sphere. So at that point, I just realized, wait a minute, uh, the Russians can't attack me because if they try to take anything, I know the British will step in and I know the British have a way more powerful army than the Russians. And so... This is kind of good, because then this guy gives me like a buffer zone to where if they try to declare war on me, I'll just, we'll just flat out take him over. I mean, just, I mean, the flat out, the British will just intervene. So I was like, yay, now we have a way to fight against the Russians. There is no way they would do that. And if they did, then I know that'd be the ending straw to the empire, because Russia usually has a very hard time keeping up in this new version game. But yeah. This is, that's why I consider awesome, man. Not many people really still like Brazil and all these places. It's for shame. And Spain's actually a great power in this? What? Okay, let me check on the great powers for the anxiety people. Spain, oh, wow. Who's usually occupying that? Oh, it's Japan. Japan hasn't industrialized yet. We haven't, wait, no, have they? No, Japan's in the sphere of the USA. So they have not, Japan hasn't risen up yet. So we'll see, we'll see about that. But anyways, that's going to be us, but I would like to point this out, there's a little, little bit of problem to my plan, and the problem involves around the fact that, uh, we have so much infamy right now that if I were to do this, like, uh, let's just do this, let me just show you guys, decrease relations, like, if I wanted to do anything, because I can't really declare war on Sadat, it's going to take, if I wanted to do anything, like, if I wanted to go to war with Persia, I can't. And I have not infamy enough to burn, and I can't really declare on war on any of my neighbors, because, well, they're mostly allied with Persia, and, like, I can't declare war on Kiva because they're allied with Persia. can't declare war on Cochrane because they're allied with Persia. I can't declare war on Siddhar because we have such a high relationship that they would not, it would take me so long to, like, to destroy it. And by that time, um, this whole British sphering thing could turn against me because I think, yeah, the British almost have Siddhar in this sphere. And so that could turn against me and basically mess me up. So... My plan for this is I'm just going to wait for like two or three years and basically do nothing. And this is going to, I'm, to save you guys the time, I'm going to cut right now to seamless transition so you guys can see like what happens later. So I'll come back in about a year when we actually can, or about two years, because that's about when I estimate this would probably be already because this, the diplomacy wise, uh, cause this belly cuff does not end until basically a year from, uh, basically two years from now. So, coming back in two years, we should be ready to go to war, we should be having everything all set up, and 
I feel like I would win this. I feel like I'm very confident. I mean, most of Persia's allies are pretty weak. I mean, we've defeated Cochrane before. We depleted the, the worst possible name for a country ever. Like, legitly, they should not name a country Cochrane. I, I don't know what the people were thinking, but they really got to change that at some point. Um, and then Kiva, it might be a little bit difficult to fight Kiva, but one of my armies could probably deal with all this, so. Um, and if we have, if we definitely get an alliance with, uh, Siddha, one of our best friends, who I will conquer later, but for right now they will be our best friends. Um, if we get an alliance with them, with the combined might of both Siddha, Panjab, we should be able to take on Kiva, Cockland, and Persia, so. Yeah, that's basically my plan! This is, and I kept cleverly named it, Operation The Desert War. Code name also, Take Land. Okay. So Operation Desert Desert War, also named Take Land. Everyone, cut you guys right now. Ah, and we are back, everyone. So uh, I actually took it a little bit longer than I was going to. Um, there was a couple reasons for that. Um, one was because I wanted to make sure that Infamy was down enough to where I felt comfortable with going to war with Persia. Because, you know, uh, going over Infamy limit, especially if you're not a great power, is not good. So... You know, we really, we really have to not take any chances with that. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if I had to wait until 1999. I'm not gonna take chances on that. It's just not worth it. Okay. Um, another reason why I took it a little bit later was because I was waiting for our um, research to gain a little bit higher because I was thinking maybe I could like, you know, gain a mi uh, administration reform before anything because I think that's what I want. I want to make sure I get administration reform before I industrialize, and this is how I'm going to industrialize people, because we need about 35% more, and then we're basically done with with industrializing, and we can westernize. So, the technologies I'm thinking of going for are administration efficiency, and, um, not economic reform, but this one right here. Wait, no, no, this one, this one's the one, yeah. Because it gives us 20% civilization progress, and it gives us a chance to, um, build a couple of factories, which, you know, is always helpful in the long run, so... You know, that's the, those are the technologies I am thinking of getting, uh, early industrialization and administration reform. I was thinking about financial reform and everything, but then I was thinking, like, wait a minute, my economy is completely destroyed. Like, if I was to go into actual game economy right now, I would crash everything. Legitly. I don't think any of these guys would ever survive because I tax them so hard and I get nothing really out of it. So, you know, that's the thing. So, right now, I think this is a great time to act on our, um, on a causes belly against, uh, Persia. Like I said, because we want to take down Persia. We want to make sure that they pay for what they've done. So, right now, um, a game of war justification, yes. And, right now, there is a crisis going on. Which, as you guys know, crisis could be a beneficiary thing. It's at least hoping that, I hope this is going to be a divided crisis. That France joins this side, but... Germany joins this side, England joins this side, Spain joins this side. You know, just make this as evenly as possible. So that these three have to fight the war out, and then what we could do, we could just go in and just swoop up the Kaiser's belly. And I never even thought of this too, because basically they can't declare war, okay, basically they can't declare war, the Russians or the Ottomans, who are the biggest, like, sphered nations right now of the Persians. Like, see, the Persians, they have, do, 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 have to go do their powers. See, friendly, friendly. Well, we can basically just eliminate that if we if we go to war right now. So we're gonna try to gain this Kazus Bell. I I'm not sure how well it's gonna work. Um, I'm kind of scared of what the infamy limit's gonna take because we really can't. If if the, if we reach the infamy limit, we are dead. Like legitly, I don't think we'll be able to handle anything. And I'm kind of scared to go in the future, to be honest with you, because it's that scary. Like legitly, I am scared, people. It's if we mess up this once, we're not going to be doing this. I'm also scared to see if this will actually go into a crisis. Um, ooh. Let's see, let's see. Where is the alliance of these guys? They hate the war. Oh, yes! Okay, this is definitely going to go into a war. A gigantic war because the Russians, I mean the Germans, hate the Russians. So that means, and they love the uh, round up the usual suspects or conduct a real investigation. Why don't we conduct a real investigation? Instead of just rounding up people. I mean, that doesn't sound like a good democracy. Though, then again, we're not a democracy, we're a monarchy. If I remember correctly. Is that correct? Royal faction, yeah. Absolute monarch, yep. 
I'm going to see how long I can keep that too. <laughs> like, if my goal is to make sure we never transfer over to a constitutional monarchy, I am going to be happy. Like, legitly, once that happens, I'm going to be happy. Because there's nothing more hap more satisfying to me to know that I could keep my original government without ever having to transfer more myself. Just as the Chinese did in, like, my French... Shyster. Okay. So... That happened, everyone, so that means uh, crises are now going to plummet up again. And we have, um, in the past couple of months, we have been dealing with a lot, and I mean a, a severe amount of lot of, oh no, don't tell me this is, this is independence of India. Because that's not supposed to happen. India is definitely not supposed to be friendly, or you know, released. And that would be scary if they did, because then that means we can't form, you see, this is, you see, Panjab was or Panjab was already a hard nation to play as from the beginning, but now it's even harder with this whole crisis system, and we gain no infamy for that, which is like amazing. But I'm gonna wait a year, cause I can wait about a year before I have to do stuff. Yeah, I still. It's a good thing though, is I still got just de facto. Do I have de facto like causes bell eyes? No, I don't. That's that's kind of mean. I should have de facto causes bell eyes against the British, but I apparently don't. Anyways. Um, with the news crisis system, it basically makes it harder for you to, like, control your own countries, because the country I conquered was Afghanistan, and they are extremely reactionary. Like, I, every so often, I always get these events saying, hey, hey, you know, we want to be independent, we want to be away from our Peneb leaders, and I'm just like, ah, you guys aren't going to succeed, because no one really cares about you guys. And, if you guys are wondering about our statistics, we are highly, 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 um, Islamic. Um, with Shia, Shia and Shiite people in both of our countries. I mean, it's actually kind of even if you think about it, which is usually not the usual statistic of how the Shia and Shiite actually turn out, but that is a pretty good statistic, and we don't have many Hindus in our land because we just really don't occupy any Hindu land. So, now that we have our causes belli, I have to now look at my alliances and make sure that we don't mess this up. Right now, Persia has an alliance with Bakura, I'm gonna cancel that one out because basically um, my my being a vassal of the core will basically cancel that out so that's gonna be good and a lot of you guys have also been saying maybe I should get a build better relationships with the UK um, I was thinking about that but really what do I need the UK for they will give us nothing they will not be an ally and it will do nothing so yeah and I'm not gonna declare war yet I'm not stupid I'm gonna wait to see what happens to see if I can get any more last, you know, tidbits of luck. Because I'm, hope I'm hoping they might get one more crisis before, you know, get enveloped in this big gigantic crisis. I declare war instantly, and, you know, we go to war. We just have to make sure that, you know, anything doesn't arise. And we have to make sure the crisis does not involve our nation, because that would be really terrible. I'm, I'm hoping that Albania, Albania, how fast are you guys going? Going faster than the Afghanistans could try to gain their own independence. This is kind of annoying me that Afghanistan is such a great country to to uh, influence and try to gain ahead. So I'm going to gain administration reform. Um, so want, I just want you guys to see this. So our administration reform right now, besides in our main little country, is 100%. But outside of that, we have basically zero control of our country. So that was partly why I need administration reform. Because we need at least a little bit, a, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of control of outside country because now I'm hoping that this will flash a little bit yeah now everything's naturally 10 which maybe now if I try to like add a uh, natural modifier of like encourage bureaucrats uh, let's see will it actually work will it actually let me mm, nope it seems to be going up with such slowness get ready get rid of works how about we try to encourage immigration maybe that will work <laughs> I, I don't know. I actually know immigration is pretty much dead. So yeah, back to here. This is basically we. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna soup up this region and just ignore these two regions. And curious, I have a curious question. How many regions do we have just in case if we need to industrialize right now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, we definitely need at least one more region. That way we have six regions to kind of industrialize with, because that's what we need to. But I'm not. I'm gonna see if at least a crisis will fire off before that happens. Um, the Albanian crisis looks very, very promising. I'm hoping, I'm hoping before anything happens that we can go to war for this. I'm, I don't really, really don't want to fight this. 
I'm really kind of scared of this war, because if this war ends badly, we will be messed over. Like, we will not survive this. But the good thing about this, though, is that our, imp our research is going up by tenfold. I mean, look at our research right now. It's going up tenfold because I'm encouraging lots of, like, bureaucrats in my main place, which is actually no need to, because we don't really need bureaucrats. So I'm just going to move that. Move that national modifier. In fact, there's some kind of quarantine, I guess, event going on right now. So what I'm actually going to encourage is um some clergymen. Get rid of troublemakers, because we actually do need some clergymen. Because clergymen are like 3.6 of these guys' population, which I find hilarious. Which means in our total population, how many people are clergymen? Clergymen take up 2.8% of the population. I find that hilarious. I don't know why. It just makes me feel laughed that 2.8% of our people are clergymen who know how to preach the word of Allah to the world. And, oh, ooh, did I forget? No, phew. Um, we have until May. I'm looking at the clock, people. I'm, I'm looking at the clock, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that one of these events will fire. Not my event. I'm hoping that my event will not fire to say that, pen this place should be theirs because I'm not gonna let them have it like this is the only place I can expand to so I'm not gonna let them have it even if they do it looks like there's not gonna be another war that that they're gonna be enveloped in yeah it doesn't seem like no one's gonna go to war before this causes bell uh detracts so um shoo and I know these guys don't want to form an alliance for me because I'm a little bit weird. Even though we are in a sphere, that does give us some good modifiers, but it's the base reluctance that really kills us. Might as well just keep making sure that you guys are happy with us. So, um, I guess we'll start the war, and I'll keep this as like a two-part episode, so I know I'm probably going to have to divide it some place. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to say, I'm just going to keep it like this. I'm going to add all my allies. We're going to see if we can do this. Because this is the only place we can expand to. And I, I, I seriously mean that. This is the only, and I mean only, only, only place we can expand to. If we try anywhere else, we will basically, uh, basically be stomped. I can't expand down the Sida. I can't expand, like, I can't expand this way because of Russia and my fear of Russia. And mostly this land is useless anyways. I can't expand this way. I can't expand that way. The only way I can expand is this way. So this is our last ditch attempt. If if we can't expand here, then basically we can't do anything in this Let's Play. And I hate to be blunt like that, but this is basically the only way we're going to be able to expand. So I'm going to start moving my people in. I'm going to go move over to Fort Harry because that fort needs to be protected. I'm going to use you guys to go crush these uh, Cochrane troops over here that think they're all good and stuff. Because they're obviously, they're obviously going to crush their neighbor, Bakura. I feel so bad for them. Um, so, with the European presence and on part of our world steadily increasing, the need for the military reform becomes more dire every day. When the European field regiments of drill professionals, we meet them with an army that is old and outdated and organized along with lines of clan, family, nobility, and personal loyalties. So we form the military. Or, we will not abandon our traditional ways. Are you kidding me? We fought in the military! <laughs> I don't care about traditional ways, are you kidding me? Uh, I mean, I care about some traditions, but... Honestly, my traditions don't matter. It matters if I can actually live in the next couple centuries. That's what I matter. If I can make it, if I can make it to about 20... Okay. Yep, we stopped them from taking over the capital. That's good. Um, right now... Um, what I'm gonna make sure is that I know Shada is gonna become really war crazy ah, dang it. okay so they're gonna probably get my fort right there that stinks but um i'm really worried about sida i mean because we have to make sure that the army does not die from any like random like um persian armies we have to also make sure that we kill these cochlan armies up here otherwise they could become a big problem so ah damn let's see will they get away august 6th August 7th. Okay, come back. Okay, you know what I'll do? Clever! Oh, wait. Yeah, you can't get away this time. I'm gonna be hunting you down even if you... You're gonna have to be just on the ball. Oh, dang, they're running faster. Ah! 
I got the Coughlin army right there. Oh, shoot. Wait, are they coming after... No, they're coming after Baja. Okay. I'm going to use both these armies to go and hit these guys. Because we definitely... We can't allow any weird stuff to happen. Um, and I bet you guys think you should probably support your army a little bit more. Well, you know, I'm getting to that. And I'm going to have to put down education again. Put down defenses. Because right now the military is more important. We still have to keep in positives, though. Okay, we have a lot of... Yeah, I just, like, started... Cholera spreads! Oh, that's great. The greatest event in the world for small nations is the cholera event. Ay. Wait, where are you guys going? Let's hunt them down first, and then we'll start dealing with other out-to-date armies. Um, right now, my army is has low morale, which does stink. Don't remember why, but it's probably going to kill a lot of its soldiers. So I can't actually... Okay, there we go. So now we took over that place. Um, I'm going to move my soldiers back over here. Okay, yeah, this is obviously going to crush if I don't get over there as quickly as possible. There we go. Yeah, we should have won that. Just going to warn you now. Okay. You guys, one of you guys go this way. You! I don't know what happened to you guys. Like, what happened? You guys just, like, collapsed. So I'm going to have to, like, push you guys over here where the army is actually good. Or I'm going to have to combine you guys with another army. Whichever one, I don't know. But I'm going to see if you guys can go heal up over here. Maybe. I don't know. Right now, I think we should be winning this war. Yes! Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, Russia. Get involved. Get involved. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Okay, okay. So, in between this time and the time we win this war, we have to win. Like, now is the time we have to win. If we do not win this war now, this, this is like the only chance we ever will have because... Um... I've never seen both, I've never seen, well, I've seen it both happen before, but now they're both occupied. They're both, the both the great powers that need, it, that need to be gone are both occupied, and these guys are going to probably escape. Great. Coughlin is definitely keeping on top of me, that's for sure. They definitely don't want their army to be defeated. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to send one of my uh, soldiers ahead, and we're just going to see if one of the